when when we talk about other planets, they say, well, it's too hot in Venus. No, that's bullshit. Um, the sun is an electromagnetic sphere. It's not a nuclear reactor. And it doesn't radiate heat as such. Uh, it has elect it radiates electromagnetism. And each planet has its own filtering system. And so the filtering system around each planet determines what the temperature is. So temperature on Venus is, you know, much like Earth. So it is on Mars. So it is on Pluto. So it is so the same on Mercury. There's people just like us and every single one of the planets. The planets that you hear about uh, as being um, uh, giant um, Gas gases like Saturn and Neptune, um, there's, there, there's only one gas giant in our solar system, and that's NASA. NASA. <laughs> That's the only gas giant we have. All the rest of the, you know, planets people live on and, and have Okay, so what do you think? They're being shrouded? You think there's a, you we're, know... We're being suppressed. The information is being suppressed. We're not allowed to to know about any of that. Uh, the people that uh, <coughs> Hoagland talk about have taken over and they consider space their, um, <clears throat> personally theirs. And uh, they don't want to share it with any of us. Uh, they have... <clears throat> they have uh, technology that we wouldn't have to pay for gas or electricity right this single minute. Right. Uh, but uh, they don't want to share it with us. It's only for the elite, uh, and, and we're not included there. We can go to war and you know and be subjects for weapons and tests and stuff like that, but uh, we are not going to share in that technology. But out there, there's there's a fantastic universe, fantastic. Um, um, uh, fantastic set of planets. It's, it's really interesting out there.